guys, Cindy Oda here with my Artsy Endeavors. Hey, listen. You hear no squeaking. <laughs> I have a new chair. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just went and got a new chair and it doesn't squeak and it's really comfy and yeah. Okay, guess what time it is? Pick 10 time. Pick 10 time. So here we go. We've got our book with all of our lovely pick 10s in it. That one was pretty cool. She was cool last last month all right so here we go i am going to cover this up the only reason i cover this up is just so i don't get stuff on it so cover that one up and are you ready this one's going to be interesting i think today i don't know we'll see let's uh start it up so we're going to do our pick 10 so here we go one whoops put it right here I'm going to bring you guys out a little bit. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, you can see it right here. You guys see that? There we go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, so here they are. Let's put them over here. Just going to slide them over, and let's see what we get to do today. So starting with number one, we are going to use some scrapbook paper. That's easy enough. All right, let me get some scrapbook paper out, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, I'm so happy I got a comfy chair. Um, This boy, this brush, look at this. <laughs> beat up anyways scrapbook paper now we all have um, these wonderful little books and I also have a great big huge shelf over there full of scrapbook paper but my 12 by 12 paper I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna take a lot of it out and give it to my sister so because she still does crap scrapbooking that's a pretty color let's use a little bit of that I was gonna get my scraps out and I thought no I want to add more scraps in there so we're just going to look and see what, what fancies me today. No, I don't like that one. Do, 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 do. Some of these are ugly. Ugly, I say. There's that one. Um, that one's different. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. No. And then we do it all again. So, you know what? I like this one better than that. Well, we'll do a little bit of each. All right, so we've got three of them. I've got some matte medium here. Um, and I have, of course, my paintbrush. I'm just going to take a few pieces on each. The rest will go in my scrap drawer. All right, and let's get this put down. Ooh. So here we go. Love doing these pick tens. You just never know where it's gonna go, what's gonna happen, how it's gonna look. Just don't know. And you know what? I need something to put under this. So let me grab. Come on. It's fighting with me. It's saying no. Here we go. I just want to put this under here because I don't really want to glue all my pages together. And I still have my 10 sticks there, so. All right. So let's get a little bit of this glue on here. And we're going to put that right there in the corner. Just because it has nice, even edges. Um this here. Oh, do, 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 do. These are so fun to do because you just never know where it's, how it's going to end up. You never have a clue. You know, I want to put that up to the edge. I can't see the edge. There it is. Come on. So fun. 
And you know, I've been thinking about it, and I don't know if I'm going to continue these into next year or not. I'm not really sure. I might do a different variation. I don't know if I'll be doing it in journal pages, but, you know, we'll see. All right, and I decided I don't want any other color. I like those two on there, so this is just going to go to the side. All right, let's see what number two is. Scraps. Well, we can do that. Uh, let's see. I've got small scraps right here. This is my small scrap drawer. So let's see what we can find. Let's throw... Oh, there's a piece of fabric. I don't think that's really what we want, though, do we? Scraps, huh? Let's see what we can find. This is a scrap. Um, well, this isn't quite the right kind of scraps, I don't think. Here's a scrap. What do we got here? There's a scrap. Boy, I hope I get to use paint to pull some of this together. Ooh, here's a scrap. Yay! Here's another scrap. Alright. I wish I was looking for more of that music scrap, but I don't see any in here. This piece of fabric scrap. Alright, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> Throwing it on the floor. Alright, so let's put these down because we were supposed to put our scraps on. So we're going to put down our scraps. Let me... Let's see, I'm going to start with this. This is going to go right here. And this is just a piece of fabric. And we're going to take this piece of music. Put that right there. And this piece of envelope without the glue. We're going to put right here. Alright, that's all we need for scraps, right? Yeah, that's all we need. Alright, let's see what our next one is. What else are we going to glue down? Anything? <laughs> Feathers! <laughs> All right, so, hmm, yeah, just over there. Let me see if I can find some feathers. I'll be right back. All right, so I looked for feathers. Now, I know I have some either of Gina's hand patent feathers or, um, you know, feather stickers. Of course you think I could find them. No. So I did find these. Um, these are actually sticky feathers. Um, you just peel off the back and stick them. And I love the fact that I've got all these in this just glitter. And then I have one in the green and one pink. Now I also have these um, that I got on clearance, as you can see. But I'm liking the idea of using these. So we're going to sticky feathers on, right? Let's do some sticky feathers. One here. It's like I'm cheating, huh? You ever do that when you use stickers feel like you're cheating? I do. I probably should have um, made my own feathers, but eh, not happening. I'm actually really tired today. I went out this morning with my girlfriend, had some lunch, I did a little shopping, and I got my new chair! But, no, I'm tired. Tarred out. All right, so there's our feathers. Let's see what is next. Stop. All right, I don't know if I need to put that in water yet. Next one is number four. Here we go with the stars again. What is it? Every time I do a, a thing, I end up with stars. All right, let me. I gotta put this away. I'm gonna find some stars or I'm gonna draw some stars. I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Ha ha ha, guys, I'm cheating. Look what I found. I found washi that's got stars on it. See, I'm all about being lazy today. You notice that? So far, the only thing I've had to do is glue stuff down and use a sticker. So, we're going to use stickers. And this one's a washi sticker. So, we're going to put stars on. I want this to go right here. Why not? 
so funny because I never know where these pages are going to end up. You guys know that from watching these. You just never know. And I'm going to do a little bit up here just because I can. Put one there. Did it work for you, hon? Yes, perfect. Good. My hubs is here in the room with me today. He's chilling out, working on his journals or guns or whatever he's working on over there. I'm not sure. But All right. There we go. We got number four done, which is stars. Number five. Use a Stabilo pencil. That's if I can find one. <laughs> Let's see. What are we going to do for the Stabilo? That's a graphite. Let me see what I can find. I'll be right back. All right. So I was able to find three of my Stabilos. I don't, I have a red one somewhere and I can't find it. So um, this is number five. Use the Stabilo pencil. And I've got green, yellow, and black. So I don't know how, there we go. I'm just going to put some color down using my Stabilos. Why not? So we're just going to do some color. And then I have my water pen. And we're just going to use it to get some color laid down. And then after this, I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to dry this page because it's still actually a little bit wet from all of the glue that we used. So, did you guys know that the Stabilos came in other colors? Um, Something I learned on a trip somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe it was with Gina. I'm not sure. Um, they come in yellow, green, red, black, and I believe orange. And look what I found. My orange one. Um, so they're really, I, I like the Stabilos. They're really cool. Just remember that they're water soluble. So if you're going to use a Stabilo, especially like if you're going to use the black to do any shadowing, um, and then you decide to put a, like a coating or, um, you know, a, like a modge over top, a sealer. Uh, if you do that, the Stabilo is going to reactivate again and it will run again. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to throw a little bit of this orange in here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Just to kind of change the color up a little bit. So if you can't find them, um, they're usually in uh, like an art store. You're not going to find them in like your... Michaels or, or AC Moore or Joann's, they don't sell them there. But if you have um, a local art store in your town, the, you, they should be able to get the Stabilos. If they don't have them there, ask them. Maybe they'll order them in um, for you. So, but like I said, you're not going to get them in Michaels or Joann's, that kind of place. you got to go to an art store. Is, is this one green? Yep, I think it is. Yes, it is. A little bit of the yellow up here. We're just putting some color down on this page. Gosh, all I know is what's going to come next. We still have five prompts to go, so um, we're just going to try to make this cohesive. See what happens. So far, we got a big mess. <laughs> but that's how they all start, I think just a big mess. Alright, now I get into the green. <clears throat> Remember your green and orange is going to make mud, but if you do your green and yellow you're fine. Interesting, huh? Alright, so now we have some Stabilo pencil on there. 
I'm not going to use the black. We might be able to use that later. Okay, let's see. That was number five. Let's look at number six. Three textures. Okay, we can do that. The first thing that comes to mind is... This is um, a drawer that I have handmade embellishments, embellishments in. These aren't handmade. I don't even know why they're in there. But um, And look, I have all of these. All of these pieces of fabric that I had put together and made. So I've got to get three textures. Let me um, get three textures out of here, and then we'll come back and put it all together. All right, so our prompt is three textures. So here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be one of our textures, which is, this is just the piece, some papers and some fabrics that I had sewn together. Looked like my bobbin wasn't, or my, yeah, my bobbin wasn't too well. Oh well, it doesn't matter. This is gonna go on here. And then I've got this, this is a border. Um, I don't even know where I got it from, but we're gonna use this as a texture. So that is going to go down. And then I have these flowers. These flowers are from Tyvek. Um, if you guys saw earlier on in the year, um, we had to use crayons for the My Year. And I ended up making these flowers out of this Tyvek, which was really cool. So we're going to use those. So that's our third texture. So this one I'm just going to cut in half. I'm not worried about if it's straight. Little things like that don't really matter. So I'm going to put it as a border here. And I'm going to put it as a border here. Maybe. That one's wider. So let's put this one over here. Or you know what? I don't think I'm going to do that. All right, let's do this different. See, I'm changing my mind already in midstream. So what happens when you give me all these things to work at. All right, so here's our flowers. Boy, I hope I don't... Hmm. I wish I knew what the rest of those said. <laughs> Let's see. We'll put this here. We'll put our flowers here. And hopefully I'll be able to put a word on here or... I don't know. But I'm going to use this texture as... Um, stems. How's that sound? So we're going to use this as a stem. I've got a stem here with that, but I still want to use the texture. So I'm going to use this stem. And this one doesn't really need a stem because you can't see it anyway. So let's get some glue. We've got our tacky glue. And the first thing I'm going to put down is this, because I want this in the corner. Alright, so that's going to go right there. Do I want to put it there or do I want to put it? Well, let's put it up here. And then we're going to do our stems out of our second texture. Another one. All right, and then we're going to glue down our flowers. One. Come on, stay down there. Here's number two. Oops. Boy, these flowers are definitely not perfect, but you know what? They don't have to be, right? I don't know any flower that's perfect, do you? Nope. Alright, so there's our three flowers. We got our stem, so we have one, two, three textures. There we go. Let's see what's next. Rip papers. Hmm. 
Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make the edges all rippy. That's what it says to do, right? It says rip papers, so we're ripping them. Good thing that wasn't all stuck down already. We're making it look funky. Alright, so we did that. We just ripped up the paper. Alright, so the edges are all funky. We ripped it up. That's good, right? So we did it! <laughs> Next, we are on number eight. Number eight is... Use three colors. Okay, well we did that with the Stabilo, but you know what, that's okay. I think I'm gonna pull out three um, acrylics and we're gonna play with those, so I'll be back in a second. All right, so I've got three colors and these are um, the acrylic paints that I purchased in Jerry's Artorama down in North Carolina and the only reason I bought them is because they said that they were opaque um, and they're o supposed to be opaque neons. They are not opaque, okay? But I'm still going to use them. So three colors. We've got yellow, blue, and green. And like I said, they're neons. So I'm going to maybe get it open. I'll put a little bit on my palette over here. And we're just going to play with it. So we're just going to use three colors. Oops, don't get on the other page. Oh, I squeaked. That's because my arm on my chair was up next to the desk. All right, so we're going to use our three colors, and we're just going to play around, hopefully make this page a little bit cohesive um, so it doesn't just look like everything's been stuck down. Bring it down, yeah. These are cool neon colors, though, aren't they? But as you can see, they are not um, opaque. So just beware if you decide to pick them up for that reason. See? You can see right through them. Love the color, though. I love the neon. It's so cool. All right, so there's our yellow. I'm going to use some green. some on my palette over here and I'm actually gonna take that green and go over that orange because I don't like that orange doesn't have to go over everything just here and there play with the green oops oh well You know, I kind of like that idea. I may end up, I uh, just have an idea. I got out the blue. Well, guess what? The blue is going to go on those feathers. I think that will look really cool, don't you? Got lots of green here. I'm going to put a little bit of that on here, too. Just kind of wake that up a little bit. Hopefully I can put a word on here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? If not, it's just going to be flowers. All right. Cool, cool, cool. That looks neat. Okay, I want to do it here. Use up this green. Oops, I get more up here. So watch, then it'll say white space. <laughs> oh no, then I'll have to put some white down. All right, so there's two of the colors. And now I wanted to go back. I want to put a little bit of this neon on this. <laughs> 
You're fine, honey. Don't worry about it. Hubby's got a cold, so he's trying not to cough and sputter on while I'm on camera. But I'm sure you guys understand, so. Yeah. We're just putting some paint down. All right, now I'm going to use, I want that blue. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on my palette. Way too much blue ended up on my palette, but that's all right. And we're going to paint the feathers. Yay, now we have blue feathers. I like it. A friend of mine told me that there was an old wise tale today. She said that a friend of hers told her that, because um, we were commenting about how there were so many pine cones on the pine trees this year, and the old wise tale is when there's that many pine cones, it's going to be a long, hard winter. I told her that was not what I wanted to hear. Not. So, hopefully the old wise tale's wrong. All right, so now we have number nine. Let's see what number nine is. I like those. Okay, done with the paints, three colors. Now, number nine, <laughs> use two stencils. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, let me get out two stencils. I'm gonna have to dry this up. I'll gra grab two stencils and Oh, I don't, I don't even want to know if I want to know what number 10 is. So let me dry this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got two stencils out here. And I've got myself um, a sponge. And I got some on my black gesso, and it's on my palette over here. So these are the two stencils that I picked. Um, because of the page and how chaotic it is right now, I just wanted to just I don't know try to calm things down a little bit so let's see if we can do that um, I'm gonna start out with this this maybe and yeah, just try to I don't know make it a little bit more cohesive I think or add more it's really busy isn't it very busy but hey, I guess that's what it's all about when you do a pick 10. You never know what you're going to get. Oops, that turned into a big blob. <laughs> Let's grab a baby wipe. Let's take away the blob. I don't like that blob. All right. Just hit that real quick with a heat gun. That's better. All right, let's try not to do it a blob this time. Yeah, that's better. All right, so there's one stencil. And I'll get that back in there. Let's do this other stencil. Hmm, I have both sides. Now let's do this. And again, I'm going to use the black just because I kind of want to, I don't know, use the black. Maybe that's like a little border there. Yeah, just... Cool. I like it. Oops, knocking stuff over. Cool. All right, let's do it on this side too. Stay there, flower. <coughs> yeah, I'm liking it.
perfect. All right, so we used two stencils. Oh, do I dare look at this last one? This one's here. All right, let's look at our last stick. Here we go. Number 10 is <laughs> Sharpies through a stencil. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I might be able to do this. So let me, these all the way dry. Not quite. Let me dry these up and um, then we're gonna use a Sharpie through a stencil. So I'll be back. Okay, so here's a stem stencil. This was just on the other side of the one I just used. And I've got a Sharpie here. And what I'm thinking about doing, I'm not gonna be able to do it that way, is just working on some dots on my feathers. See if it works. Yes, it did. All right, let's do it some on the next one. So anyways, like I was saying, these pick tens, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue in 2018. Um, I have quite a few other th projects that I'll be working on, so um, I'm not sure. We'll see. No promises, but they're really cool to do. They're a lot of fun. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll do another variation of it. You know, maybe it'll be a pick two or pick seven. Who knows? All right, there we go. We have all ten on our prompt and this is just kind of a crazy page but we got it all done and here it is here is this month's pick 10 I hope you guys enjoyed as always like comment share and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you'd like and have fun that's what life's all about happy creating we'll talk to you soon bye